What the Rodis project entails is a collection of DNA profiles from rhinos, from live ones, poached ones and hunted ones, to put them all onto a database to have an inventory system of basically the whole population as well as the stockpiled horns. This is our lab. All of our areas are kept separate because we don't want to contaminate anything or get rhino in any of our other samples. So this is the area where we process all of our samples. So we walk you in here. So we are at the veterinary school and we learned how they process the DNA from the rhino's horn. So what we do is we take a sample and we then cut it into small little pieces and we then use a kit that we use to extract the DNA. The fundamental reason for starting this project was as a forensic tool for investigators. Basically, getting the DNA profiles from recovered horns, which are either on poachers or on traffickers, even into the consumer countries and linking those back to a poached carcass. When we walked through the labs, we saw this one processing machine that sucked up all the DNA, it was like a magnet. And what it does is we use little magnetic beads and we add that to our sample. And then that piece at the back is a magnet. So what it does is it collects all the DNA and the beads and the DNA bind and then the DNA is moved through all of these plates and it's washed and cleaned until we get a pure product which it's doing now. So then we'll take that DNA which is pure for each sample and we'll take it through to the next part of the lab. The biggest obstacle is basically the funding of the project. Um, it has depended in a large part on donor funding for the first uh, basically three years of the project and it really needs to be a sustainable thing because it needs to be a traceability system and a tool that can be used into the future because obviously we need to make sure that we can monitor the movement of these animals and of the horns in the stockpiles as well. Okay so this is our genetic analyzer and what this does it takes that DNA and it actually lets us see it because all we're looking for is the size of a fragment so we're looking for a number so this machine allows us to get that number and then we can link that using this profile back to an animal that was either alive or poached. We think the DNA testing is a really good opportunity to save these rhinos. Well, obviously the next generation is the most important part of this whole process because they are the ones who are going to have to educate their counterparts, particularly in the consumer countries where this is being utilized. So they're the ones that are going to make the real difference. And what we try to do in the lab, we try to keep as up to date as possible with any news. This was just a poster that we made with our line. So this is what the rhino does with its horn, what do you do with it? So that was just one of our promotional things.